Everybody, we're back. My first guest tonight is the star of the hit CBS sitcom, The King of Queens. Please welcome a very funny guy, Kevin James. Thank you. How are you? Good, man. Hey, Doing well. Con uh, congratulations. You know, it, it, we live in this era now. I don't know if people realize where very few shows make it. They're always trying mm. these new sitcoms, and you've got a show, King of Queens, that's it's really making it. Well, thanks. Yeah, you guys it's, are doing it's, terrific. It's, it's, it's exciting. It really is. It's unbelievable. Uh, the other thing is, I'm still at that, you know, the level of fame where it's still kind of stuck in the middle, you know? What do you but, mean? Like, well, it's just not high. In, you know, you want to get it up there a little bit. Like, I was, uh, actually, this was a great honor. I was a question on Millionaire, on the Millionaire Show, which is mm -hmm. a popular show, which is really great. We were watching it, and they said, uh, the question was something like, uh, Kevin James is the, you know, star of the CBS sitcom, the king of, and we're all pumped up. They're like, oh, man, dude, millions of people are watching. This is great. Your question. And, and the lady had no clue, though. She didn't know what show. <laughs> she was like, ah, I don't watch that show. <laughs> that's, that's the one with the, the unfunny fat guy, right? <laughs> I haven't seen oh. it. But what so. about when you, you, you must be, I, I, I know for me, which, you know, seven years ago when I got this show, suddenly you have to go to these award shows and walk down a red carpet. Which is nice. When it, yeah, it's nice, but when it happens that fast, you're not used to it. That's right, and that's exactly it. The fame thing comes again, and a lot of these things you get invited to, it's nice. It's nice to go to them, you know, and I usually go with like Ray Romano or something like that, and we go out on the red carpet where they take all the pictures. It's pretty cool. But they hold all the celebrities back, and then they just throw them out there one at a time or two at a time in a group, and you got to be careful who you follow. Like, we had to follow the cast of Friends, mm -hmm. which a little bit more popular than me. Uh -huh. So, yeah, so they go out there and it's just, they're going nuts, like, and they're like, Matthew over here, Matthew, Jennifer over here, and then me and Ray walked out and it was just like, you know, what, where do they, and then, where did they buy a sad the camera? <laughs> It was so bad. It did. It did. That's the exact sound. That's then, hilarious. It, it, just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, I swear I heard, Ray, could we get one of you alone? <laughs> at that point, at, that's all right. That's now, what do you do when that happens? I just start pointing and fake waving. That's like I know people. Hey, how you doing over there? Right. All right. How you guys and doing? it's really, I've done that before and there's been nobody there. Yeah, there's nobody. They know. They know. Gotcha. They know. You just got to you just got to go home and cry is what you got to do. Do you get I mean uh you know is that you getting the the other stuff that comes with celebrity you know um, the, uh, I'm not getting stalked if that's that's not a problem. Oh. They asked me if you know is that a problem and I said uh -huh. uh, you know what I'm not enough of a celebrity to be stalked really you know mm -hmm. like a stalker couldn't survive on me alone. <laughs> but he, he'd like need another you know mediocre famous guy you know like you know, he'd have to to, to to fulfill it you know he'd have All to right. like stalk me and you know, like for like three days and then stalk the blind guy from Becker. That would be it. Just like, <laughs> then have like one day off for laundry or whatever stalkers do. I don't even, I don't even know what they do. So your life, but your life has changed. I mean, in, in fundamental ways, how has your life changed? Um, it's, it's going good. It's really, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun doing the show and stuff. The, now the network wants me to get in shape, though. They want me to... But they want you to be healthy. Healthy, yeah, yeah. Because you're doing well, investment. you're an investment for them. Right, yeah. right. So they want me to, to, to lose weight. Uh, I think their goals are a little different than, you know... My, my fitness goals are different than most people's, though, I really believe. I mm -hmm. think... <laughs> um, they're laughing with you. Yeah, I'm sure they're... No, but it's true. I mean, most people want to get in shape. They want to look good in a bathing suit or they want to lower their cholesterol. I just want to lose enough weight so that my stomach doesn't jiggle when I brush my teeth. <laughs> That's it. That's it. This is That's achievable, it. I would That's think. It. Once you get to, then it's just maintenance. <laughs> just maintenance after that. Because this you, is just water weight. That's sure. all this is right here. <laughs> That's what it's called? Water uh, weight? I think so. I take a big leak. I'm ripped. That's it. <laughs> Give the nice thick hack right there. Yeah. Now, do you have what? Do you have a weight loss program? Because everyone debates what's the best no, way to know, do it. I know, I know, and everybody comes up to me with the advice and what to do, and uh, it's difficult. You know, you get people. One guy told me, you know what you got to do? You got to chew sugarless gum. That's the trick right there. Yeah, because all well, this is from bazooka. That's what this. <laughs> is. You know, I like, I like, I like when I get. I serious. I've gotten, I've gotten weight loss advice from someone fatter than me. Uh -huh. Some he heavier than me. They go, you know what you got to do? Yeah, not listen to your fatter ass. <laughs> But, uh... Well, do you, I mean, do you? Some people 
it's claimed that there is this, I don't know, that there's this emotional attachment I, with food. That, I, like, I agree with it. I do. I do? do I, I think there is. I think it's something deeper. I'm very attached. You know, when I have food, you know, I get very depressed. Like, you know, if you have like a cup of pudding and you're eating it and you start seeing the bottom, I get upset. <laughs> I do. You just, you just start saying, you know, oh, crap, it's almost over. And then I start getting depressed again, I eat more, and then it's a vicious cycle. That's all it is right there. <laughs> There's no yeah. getting off this gerbil wheel. No, no. <laughs> That's so sad. Yeah, it is pretty sad. That's why there should be like a, a smiley face or something painted at the, bottom, the bottom of the pudding bowl. Saying, yeah. you're okay. <laughs> Even with your fat ass, you're okay. <laughs> Don't be sad, buddy. <laughs> uh, well, the King of Queens uh, is on Mondays at 8 o'clock on CBS, and you're performing at, at the uh, Proctor's Theater in Schenectady, New York, tomorrow, and at the State Theater in Minneapolis on Saturday. Kevin, congratulations on this is actually the show, and uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Yeah, really funny guy. I really guy. appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin James, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Jennifer Esposito. Oh, good. Thank you.